Welcome to my garage gym. Today we're gonna walk through the different pieces of equipment and things that I've added to the garage to help me be optimal in fitness and in my everyday life. So when I was thinking about what did I want in my home gym, the first thing that I thought about was what are we gonna do with the flooring? There's gonna be a lot of sweat, there's gonna be a lot of weights dropped, and I wanted to make sure that we had a space where I felt comfortable to really get after it. So before we even got the mats that you see here, my wife and I invested in getting the floor epoxied. This makes it really easy to clean. So if in the future we wanna move these mats around, clean it out, it's gonna be really easy to do that. The second thing that we made sure that we purchased was these really hard rubber floor mats. Uh, they're not the easiest to move. We actually have tools that clamp onto these to slide them around, but once they get stuck in place, uh, they are gonna stay there. So if you're thinking about building out your home gym, these are something to consider because as I'm running, jumping, moving around, slamming the weights on them, it's gonna protect the epoxy underneath that, the concrete underneath the epoxy, and most importantly, it's gonna protect yourself because they're not gonna be sliding around. After we thought about the flooring and what we wanted there, the first thing that I always think about when it comes to my fitness is a rack that I can use barbells on, as well as something that I can do pull-ups with. This rack is from Ethos. I got it at Dick's Sporting Goods. I think it was when I got it around $700 to $800. Don't quote me on that. One of the things that stood out to me about this rack, I really like the color scheme. I'm big into black and red. It's pretty much my favorite colors when I was growing up and to this day. So having a black and red themed rack really seemed appealing to me. But fashion is only one thing when it comes to lifting weights and what you're working towards. You wanna make sure that things are sturdy and functional. And fortunately, I was able to go see this rack in Dick's Sporting Goods, test that out a little bit before I decided to actually go through with the purchase. When you get the rack, it doesn't come with any barbells, so I had to go to one of my favorite places in Austin, Texas, Fringe Sport. They're a local manufacturer of gym equipment. So we have my barbell here, and then my wife's barbell over there, which we then just easily pop out of the rack and then can utilize it on this. Obviously a staple to any rack is also having a bench. So for me, when I was thinking about what bench to get, I wanted to make sure that it was easy to move, had wheels on it, has an easy grip, and then it has multi-purpose capability. So being able to lift it up, put it all the way up, that was something I wanted to make sure that it had. This is also from Spring Sport. Now that we have that pillar piece of equipment done, the other pillars that I think about when it comes to my training are right behind you, the treadmill. So when it's raining out or, or cold, or I'm just in a mood where I actually wanna like want watch something while I'm running. So typically I'll watch other YouTube videos or a podcast while I'm running. I will utilize a treadmill. My wife really loves a treadmill because you can do incline and cadence work on the treadmill. That's hard to kind of replicate when you're out there on the streets. Another favorite of mine is the salt bike. This is not something that I would have had in my collection years ago. I've recently added this in as like one of my pillar pieces of equipment because of its ease of use and as well as how freaking hard it is. So if you really put out on this thing, you're only gonna last for a minute here, two minutes. So you can get a really good workout in pretty efficiently. And this thing is super effective at getting your heart rate up and sweating and, and really giving yourself a boost for anything else that you're trying to do. Last but not least, when it comes to my pillar pieces, I gotta have some type of sled in my gym. As you can see, there's not enough room for me to push and pull a standard sled that doesn't have wheels. So shout out to Torque Fitness where I got their Tank M4 and I can actually push and pull this thing up my inclined driveway. It comes with different ropes and pulling mechanisms. So we have a rope in here that you can use for pulling. This goes around your back so you can walk backwards with it. It's a really functional piece of equipment. You can also change the resistance on it, which I find to be really cool. So if I wanna do speed work, I'll lower the resistance. Uh, and if I wanna get in a harder workout, I will up the resistance and work on my endurance. Now, before we get into our accessory pieces of equipment, 
I would probably throw this in the middle. For me, I find it to be foundational, but a lot of people would probably just have these parallettes as accessory. The things that you can do with parallettes, dips, presses, even pulls, you can add weight to yourself. So if you wanna use something like the Hyperwear weight vest, you can put that on and then use the parallettes and Man, it's crazy what you can what you can do with these things and how strong you're going to get. So this is something that's been foundational to my strength training over the years. You can also easily take these anywhere you want. So it's a really nice day outside right now. And if I wanna work out outside, this is the piece of equipment that I'm gonna use. So now let's get into the accessories of the gym. Because I do high rocks and I do a lot of wall balls in high rocks, these were a must. So I have one 20 pounder from Fringe Sport. And then I was, I've been lucky to have been gifted uh, this 14 pound Dynamax medicine ball. These get used really frequently. Typically, if I don't have anything to put them up against, I'm literally just gonna throw them up. I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna hit that, but gonna throw them up, catch it, and do it as many times as I can in accessory to the squats, bench press, anything else I'm doing that day. Next thing that I would consider accessory for me is kettlebells. So I have the lighter ones over here and then the heavier ones over there. They are sitting on a rack that we got off Amazon. It was really simple to put together. The rack is able to store the plates, barbells. I also have a trap bar on the rack over there and it wasn't that expensive, which is what I like about it. If you're building out your gym, you're gonna see that like that receipt is going to start to add up over time. At any points where you can save money with something that's actually still functional is always something that I recommend. Other weights that we have, so big fan of Hyperwear and their equipment. You can change out the different weights that you're using as well as stack them because they are made from sand. So you can stack them just like this. You can change out the weights. And if you're like me and you have a significant other where they might be using a different weight set than you, that's what you're gonna wanna go with. Because I don't have an extreme amount of storage capabilities in here, I had to kind of decide which pieces of equipment do I wanna forego. And when we started the gym, the, the dumbbells is really where I was just like, I could probably just get away with my barbells, kettlebells, and other things. I think that's gonna change here in the near future. I got some extra space over there and I'm gonna be looking to add some heavier dumbbells into the mix. So the, the one recommendation I have as you're building out your gym is to kind of start slow and figure out what it is that you're really gonna use consistently over a time frame, and then figure out how you can optimize your space and add some other things in there. Behind you right now is something else that I use rather frequently for either like kettlebell squats or my barbell squats, Harder Will. I got these off of Amazon as well. You can separate them, make them smaller or make them larger and get that good squat in there. <laughs> now let's get over here. So like I mentioned, we have the trap bar in over here, got the 45 plates. Gotta have the BOSU ball, so if you have ever done core work on this, this is a killer. Other pieces of accessories, I have the canes, which I'll use for handstand work, flexibility work, mobility work. Probably my favorite pieces of accessory equipment is my rings and then the TRX. Another thing that is so versatile to use, you could do pull-ups on it, you could do planks on it, you can do, you can put your feet up on your bench and do pulls. There's so much that you can do. Another reason I really like this rack is because it can support the rings and the TRX. Something that my wife really likes to do and I'm a big fan of is resistance bands. I take these with me to the airport, literally anywhere I go that I feel like I'm gonna need a workout and don't have a lot of space or time. What she'll do is she'll put these over and then use these for different workouts that she's doing. This is where we keep all the other resistance bands. Um, this is a neat little rack that we also got off of Amazon, kind of out of the way. Pretty cool how efficient you can make your home gym. Another piece of equipment that I really love and I use fairly frequently that I didn't really give enough credit to was these Reebok steppers. It's something that I will do single leg lunges off of with kettlebells. You can do elevated front foot, split squats. There's a lot that you can do with these. Things where you're laying on your back, there's tons of different variations that these steppers will provide. They're also light enough where myself or my wife can easily transport them, put them back. We can bring them with us wherever we're going. This other one actually 
can come up and slide out, which is pretty cool. Again, I under appreciated these in the beginning, but I use them fairly frequently with my kettlebell workouts and they've been a really big help in building up my leg strength. Now that we've gone through all of the fitness equipment that I would deem extremely necessary for myself, I'm gonna go into things that I do prior to working out and after I work out. So two pieces of equipment that I highly recommend anybody have in their gym and in their tool belt is I use a Theragun. You don't necessarily have to go with a Theragun. You can go with other different devices that will help your muscles. And then a foam roller. So rolling out the calves, Achilles, other areas before and after running will keep you happy and healthy. Therefore, you're gonna be able to use all of your equipment more and make use of that hard earned money that you spent on your gym. For all the people out there that might be dealing with a cold gym or cold garage, I recommend this little infrared heater. We got this for our garage during the winter time. And I found that when the temperature was roughly like 30, 40, 50 degrees outside, our garage was hovering around like 55, 60 degrees. And this would help us get it more towards like 65, 70 degrees. So it was comfortable in here to work out. This is something you can find on Amazon, but if you're living in a place that's like super cold, I don't know if this would be the best thing, um, but for Texas, it definitely worked. The last thing, one of my favorite parts of our gym is the ability to have quality lighting. So if you like to film some of your workouts or if you just want better lighting in your gym when the garage door is closed, then I highly recommend this setup. So we have the Veripole with the aperture lighting, a little lantern to cover up the light and kind of dim it a little bit. If you want an accessory lighting to that, we also have one little piece over here. And then boom. So I'll add it to like 50% to just mimic the lights up there. And then now I have a full setup of high quality lighting that I can film in my home gym, or just if you just wanna motivate yourself and feel like you're actually in a different atmosphere, this lighting, I highly recommend. One of the things I struggled with in the past is working out in places where the lighting really wasn't quality. I didn't feel motivated. Some of these things behind me, you can see the aesthetic of the gym has been very well thought out to give me that motivation and to tap into that part of my brain where I need to go in my workouts and help me become a stronger, healthier, human being that can endure everything that life is throwing at me. At the moment, there are a few things that I am considering adding to my home gym. I'd really love to have a ski erg and a rowing machine in my gym. I gotta figure out what to do with some storage though. We have bikes in here and other things that I kind of need to move around. So if you have ideas around how I can best go about doing that, or if you'd love to connect with me over the home gym you're building, please reach out. I'd love to connect with you and help you build a space that you're proud of, can work out in, and ultimately help you become the best you that you can possibly become.